Hey, how's it going? Uh, today we're going to go over how to draw a fox. Uh, it is very simple, easy for beginners, okay? So if you're a beginner, stick around. Uh, it's only going to be an eight minute video, so very, very short relative to you know a lot of stuff. Uh, so yeah, stay all the way to the very end. You'll learn the whole thing. Um, that is all. Uh, yeah, let's do it. First things first, though, if uh, you like learning how to draw in short increments, in like 10 minute increments, hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification. It'll let you know when I post. So let's jump right into it, okay? Uh, I'm gonna go right here and draw a line here for the, the snout. I'm gonna keep it within reason, not too large, because I want his tail to be really big. I'm gonna pull up here on the forehead and back on the head. Pulling down here on the front of the snout. Pulling underneath the neck. Going up here for the, the ear. And then pulling down. And uh, just kind of closing that off. So that's the inside of the ear. Pulling back for the back side of the ear. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw another uh, shape, triangle like that for the far side and then pull out over here. Smile, like a smiley eye I mean. Hee <laughs> hee. Little smile there from the fox. And I'm gonna draw Fill in the edge of the no end of the nose there. I'm gonna give a little bit more tips here to the ears, just a little bit, and, and black out the top to make it more deliberate, so it doesn't look like a too much of a wolf. It looks more like a fox. Pulling down here, up. gonna go over here into the chest area below and I'm gonna pull these little zigzag shapes as I'm pulling down and right here I'm gonna throw a line right here to start off the front leg go over here to the back back into that into the fox's elbow Gonna pull outward here for the next part. Out over here, curve. Look at this paw there. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put like a, I don't know, like a zigzag pattern here and I'm gonna fill it in the end of the paw because the end of the paw has this dark pattern a lot on, on, on this type of fox. Going over here find this leg. Line out over here. Out. Curve. Up. Zigzag. Over here. Pulling in. So that's like the lower belly of the fox. Let's go over here for the hind leg. We're gonna pull a line downward. And so one thing you know about uh, animals that walk on all fours, uh, specifically like wolves, dogs, 
their knee tends to be pretty close to this part of their body, their under part of their body. It tends to be like above it or just like close to it. You know, where I know we're with humans, you're used to drawing the knee all the way down, right? Because we stand up in two legs. Um, but just kind of, I always remember that. It's something to, to think about pulling back down here. Going over here, I'm gonna save, I'm gonna put a space there for the tail. Go back here, back of the knee area. Pulling down over here for the heel. And down to the rest of the paw, the foot. And I close it off here. So something else uh, there, I think it's called plantigrade. I, I cannot remember. But basically the, they walk on their, their, on their hind, uh, they walk on their toes. And we, we, like, they walk on their toes and we walk kind of on our heels, really. So this is like the heel of the fox, essentially. We look at the foot. Over here. And fill that in, same thing. Pulling down over here. End of the foot here. And pulling up. Same thing over here well for the back lo back leg there let's go over here to the tail and I want to make it pretty big I want to make it zigzag like huge though like a huge uh, curve like an s-curve in up in up in up in Pulling back over here, down. It's gonna make that huge tail. Like, oh, we overdid it, which is fine. Draw a zigzag here for the pattern. And there you go. That's it. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it was like, like, you know, fun to do. It's like a fox with a giant tail. Uh, but yeah. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, let me know what else you want to see in the channel, and I'll make it happen. Oh, I forgot about the, the pattern change right here. You can do a pattern change to the tummy and the, right here as well to, for that color change. But draw the line really thin. And then it, as far as a thicker line goes, I forgot about this as well. Thank you so much. I will see you next time. Go check out my full lessons in the description. I will talk to you soon, all right? Later.